Hi YouTube, welcome back to WTFRC Cars. So continuing on with the Optima Mid 60th Anniversary car. We've got some more parts, these are from Coswork. I got these from RD Models at Chesterfield. So link will be in the description below to the actual shop. And I'm sure if you get in touch with Dave and crew, they'll be able to order you some of these up. But the part number for these are KOS04303. I'll stick that on the bottom of the screen somewhere for you. Basically, these are CVA sets. And they're for the Kyosho Mid, Turbo, Optima, Javelin and Ultima, according to the uh, description. So it'd be interesting to see if we need the little spacer shims that you have to use on the stock Kyosho parts. Um, I've got two sets of these, so we should be able to swap the front ones out. I have seen a few people saying they get issues with the front ones, even though they're sort of CVAs. And the rears are dog bones on these, so I want to get them swapped anyway. But let's bring in for a close-up look and uh, see how we get on. Right, so in each of the packets, we get a drive shaft for each side, the output shafts, as little barrels, as pins and as caps. So we've got all four of these open. Now basically we're going to have to make four of these up and they're all going to be identical. So first off I like to get a bit of this graphite grease into the ends of the drive shafts. One it helps hold these pins in and two it makes them live a bit longer. It is horribly messy stuff, it gets absolutely everywhere, but it does a very good job. So, we're going to have to get it together, get the barrel in, drop the pin through, which is sometimes easier said than done. Once the pin's through, then we should place the little cap on, and that is one drive shaft fully assembled. So let's get all the other three done and then we can crack on with uh, seeing what it takes to fit them to the RC. Right so there we have all four assembled. We have graphite grease on. They do look like real nice drive shafts these so now all we need to do is bring the RC back and uh, see how we go about fitting these. So first thing we're going to need to do is get the rear wheels off. So quickly under these and uh, then we can see what else we need to loosen off to get to the uh, actual drive shafts. So once we've got the wheels off you're going to need to remove the hexes. So on these it's just a 2mm driver and we can remove the actual pin. So quickly get that done on both sides. So once they're off looking for the easiest approach to get these off and I would say it's going to be the top pins because all we need to do is move as hub slightly sideways I believe to get these off so once we remove that should be able to drop the hub down and that should let us remove our dog bone first then we can slide this hub out. So if we get one of these drive shafts, actually looks the same length from that side. So should be able to drop that into place. And then we've already got some grease on here so I'll just wipe it off there's already some on the output cup itself you can use the graphite grease as well so if we then lift the hub back up and into place and we just need to get the little olive on the end to line up and once that's lined up just need to try and line it up with the screw so we can quickly screw this back into place and then we can have a look what it's like at full travel doesn't look like it's going to cause a problem 
full travel up. Really doesn't look like it's moving at all. So I think they're going to fit on the rear exceptionally well. So now we just need to get our hexes into place. It was one of my other concerns. I wasn't sure if these hexes would fit. But they do like, look like they fit perfectly well. So we just need to do exactly the same on the other side. Just under this top bolt, drop the hub down and then swap out the axle. So we'll get that done. So there we have it. Both sides built back up. No issues putting these in. They don't look like they're going to pop out. And uh, should be a far better drive shaft. So all that's left to do now on the rear is quickly drop his wheels back on, get the wheel nuts on, and then we'll take a look at front. So that is the rear all assembled. So now moving on to the front. And again, we're just going to have to quickly drop off both front wheels. So we'll crack on with that and then see what else we've got. So like on the rear, the front, we've got the two millimeter pins or hex pins that hold our X drives in place. So quickly need to drop both of these off. And once we've got them off, again, we're gonna need to drop the hub sideways so unlike the rear on the front, we're going to be slightly more involved. We're going to have to take the hub out the C-hub holder. So on this one, we should have one screw on the top and then one screw on the bottom. And then while I've got it flipped, may as well take the other side off. And don't forget when you put them back in, probably going to need a little bit of thread lock. So as these come out, you have got the little hinge pin sort of bushings. So we can slide this out and on these you see we have the little shim. Now looking at these drive shafts, it looks like they made these the proper length so we don't need that shim. So let's try it. Right, so on the new shaft I'm just going to get a bit of the anti-wear grease. And we're going to want to slide this through first get it into the hub or the output cup should I say then we're going to want a bearing and I don't believe you need the shims on these but we will see what we do need is the bushing in the top So we're then going to have to get the hub, carefully slide it into place. If you just pull on it, the bearing should seat itself. Then you want a little bit of thread lock on each one of these. But like I said, when we we're building it, don't go crazy tight, else you will rip the threads out of these uh, metal hubs. They're not the strongest. And then if we put the outer bearing on, we can then flip it back over. We can put a bottom screw in place. Then we're going to want our hex in. I 
get our hex pin back in place, screw that in, and that is one side complete. So all we need to do is repeat exactly the same on the opposite side. So I'll quickly get this side done and then we can carry on. So once we've got both sides done, we've got our wheels to pop back on. And I have checked the travel on these and I do not believe that you need to use the little red shims like you do on the stock part uh, or the stock or the upgrade Kyosho uh, drive shafts as well. So if you are upgrading the to the stock Kyosho sort of mod part, um, I believe on them you do have to use the shim. But certainly if you use the Cosworks parts, then the shim isn't required at all on the front or the rear. There's no way them drive shafts are going to pop out at any extent of travel. So, we now have fully working Coswork CVAs. Just another bit of a mod to the uh, wonderful 60th anniversary Kyosho Optima Mid. Uh, it's definitely, uh, definitely looking a bit more bling than uh, what it were out at box. So quick recap, we have the Coswork CVAs front and rear. We've got the upgraded carbon brace on here. We've got the upgraded carbon steering brace. We've got the front and the rear, so A and D block in carbon. And we've got the yeah, racing aluminium wing mount. So definitely uh, the mods are building up on this one. And um, yeah, I'm not going to add up how much I've spent on it either. Because <laughs> the genuine Coswork parts aren't cheap. The Yeah Racing parts are a little bit better for money. The genuine Kyosho motor and speed controller, they're definitely not cheap. Um, I think the most bargain thing is the actual servo, but I do love using these. I've, I've used them in quite a few of my race vehicles. They take a right beating and they're less than £30 delivered. But let's wrap this one up. So there you have it. The Cosworks or Coswork front and rear CVAs for the Optima Mid. Fully fitted. Don't see any issue with the steering angles. They feel smooth as anything. They'll definitely be a lot better on the rear. As I've seen a few people have issues. Um... There definitely seems to be a lot more people have issues with the stock Kyosho upgrade part, should I say, and the Yeah Racing ones. I've seen a few sort of comments that they don't last very long, but the general consensus seems to be go with the Coswork ones. They, uh, they definitely fit really nice. There's no need for the weird sort of shim to sort of pull them into position. They sit absolutely perfect in the output cups on front and rear. So definitely happy about that. And uh, again, big shout out to Dave and crew at RD Models Chesterfield. That's where, uh, where I sourced these. So thanks again for watching WTFRC Cars. If you like this kind of content, don't forget to like and subscribe. Hit the notification bell. Share to friends and family. And uh, catch you guys in the next one. Let's see what other crazy things we can do with this Optima Mid.